I'm going to go through a progression of loading the bicep, initially with the first phase being in a shortened range. So for my bicep, right, in the all the way shortened position, it's going to be elbow flexed, shoulder flexed. The all the way lengthened position is going to be shoulder extended, elbow extended, right? So if I want to gradually load my bicep in a way that's least threatening or least likely to hurt it, I want to start somewhere in this mid range. And then I gradually want to work myself slowly into a lengthened position, right? <laughs> So a band is helpful to start off with that because it's not a lot of resistance, right? So I'm going to start off, and you can play around with the grip. Some people, and I would say most individuals, are going to prefer a little bit more of a hammer curl or a thumb up grip, especially if someone is dealing with some elbow problems. Staying here, you can stay with an open hand, so you don't have to grip and tense the forearm quite as much. So open hand or palm up. You pretty much pick whichever one feels more comfortable. Usually, thumb up is a better way to start. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start with my elbows flexed. And a big key with the bicep is I don't wanna set myself up to be rounded forward. So I wanna make sure that my shoulders are in this down and back position where I'm puffing my chest out. So right here is gonna be a good way to start just with loading of tension on my bicep, pause for five seconds, and then step back out of it. So with a band, and I have this anchored low, at home you can anchor this around the leg of your couch, right? So I could start off with just elbows flexed, Shift weight onto the front leg and feel tension. Shift weight onto my back leg for less tension. So this is just an isometric contraction of my bicep, a little bit more even into my pec. I'm making sure I keep my shoulders down and elbows at my side. So this will be a good starting place. And if that's okay, doing five to 10 to 20 reps, I can see how it feels to do it with my palms up, which is gonna load my bicep maybe a little bit more. And then from here, I could work on also doing it in a little bit more of a lengthened position. So elbows a little bit more straight with just a slight bend. Now here, my bicep has a little bit more of an isometric load in more of a lengthened position. So this would probably be phase two of that progression, going from short to now a little bit more lengthened where I'm fighting the tension so the band doesn't just pull me backward. Pausing each one for about five seconds. Now from here, I wanna start loading the bicep in with movement. So I'll come into that same position I started at, palms up or thumbs up. And from here, I'll start to very slowly control the negative into a stretch. And then as soon as I feel tension on the beginning of pain, I'll rock back and take it away. Come back to 90 degrees, shift forward, elbows down, shoulder blades tucked down, very slowly loading into that stretch and back out of it as soon as I feel tension or any amount of discomfort. Thumbs up is typically gonna be a little easier, so if that's going fine, I may switch to palms up, same thing. Come forward, shoulders down, chest up, very slowly lowering. Ideally trying to get full elbow extension and even a little bit of shoulder extension and then coming back out of it. So this would be a precursor to then me just going through your typical bicep curl, right? So now I'm just coming slowly, same thing, controlling the negative, and then making sure as I go to initiate the pull upward, I'm not initiating it here, but keeping my shoulders sucked down as I come back into that bend. Following this, the last piece I would say would be to really load that proximal part of the bicep tendon, would be more of this low fly maneuver where I would keep my elbow straight. Now I'm really focusing on loading the top front of my shoulder. And you'll see with this one, I never come all the way up to where I'm really jamming up in the part of my shoulders and shrugging. I do more of a forward, low reach. So I keep that scapula down and I never come up into this excessive raise. So just a quick recap, it's going to be isometrics at 90, palm up or thumb up. It's going to be isometric a little bit lower. Phase three is gonna be come into it and load slowly, eccentric. Phase four is gonna be the full bicep curl, going slowly into a stretch. Phase five would be more of a straight arm.